guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is updated again and this time they have updated the task number three and task number four okay so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate the cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and in description box i will share the document link so open that li link from there okay let me just increase the text size okay now just simply come over here and what we have to do just simply come on the task number one and copy this data set id make the changes carefully like this now for the bucket name copy this bucket name do not copy that full stop okay just make sure of that and paste over here like this your command must look like this if it's so just simply copy all this command and run over here and click on authorize now what you have to do just simply search for the big query open this thing in new tab wait for a second click on done now if you just simply click on this down arrow here you can see lab underscore 295 and from here you can see we already create the data set now first of all what you have to do just simply click on this three dot then click on this create table now first thing you have to do just en enable this thing and just make sure that you are able to type over here because most of the time you are not able to type over here so just do one thing if you face that kind of issue just refresh the page and again check it once if you are able to type then you can just make the changes so basically from here choose the google cloud storage and for the file just go back to your lab instructions and if you just check over here just copy from here till here do not copy that closing function bracket just copy like this paste over here and the file format must be csv and now for the table name if you just come over here in the big query output table you can see customer underscore some random number so just copy this thing carefully okay and paste over here and your table name must look like this make sure the number change every time okay now for the schema go back to your dashboard and copy this thing from this square bracket to this square bracket okay just copy this paste over here and your table content must look like this and your schema must look like this now just simply click on create just wait for a couple of seconds and now just simply search for the data flow job and click on that now here i saw most of you guys face the issue now just simply click on this create job from template wait for a couple of seconds now for the job name you can just give any name i'm just giving quick lab jobs okay now here for the data flow template just simply scroll up copy this thing carefully and just paste over here and make sure you have to choose the batch option i saw most of you guys choose the stream option because of that their data flow job run forever so just make sure you have to choose this option okay now just wait for a couple of seconds you will get multiple parameters okay now just simply scroll down copy this first thing paste over here then copy second json path and paste over here no need to worry about that red banner i will tell you how to resolve that now copy this udf file name and paste over here then copy this big query output table and paste over here then for the path input path copy this paste over here then for the temporary big query just copy this carefully paste over here and for the last temporary location just copy this okay and paste over here now here what you have to do you can see just remove this js colon js colon forward slash just remove this like this and you will get a green tick now for if you just simply scroll down now here again remove this gs colon and forward slash remove this thing like this you will get a green tick now here again do the same thing remove this gs colon forward slash done and that's the way you can just remove that error now please pay attention before click on this run job click on this show optional parameters and from here uncheck this checkbox use default machine type just uncheck this checkbox and from here choose the series as a e2 and for the machine type it must be e2 standard 2 okay make sure you have to do these two changes now you can just simply click on run because they already mentioned in the lab instruction 
okay now this thing is going to take around five to six minutes meanwhile you can just continue with the task number two for that what we have to do just simply click on this unwanted banner okay now here just simply search for the data pro so just come over here search for the data pro and open this thing in new tab wait for a couple of seconds now click on this create cluster from here choose the compute engine and just simply click on create now what we have to do for the region just make sure the your region must look like this okay and now choose the region i am just going to choose us west one because i have got this region okay so you have done with this thing now click on this configure node from here choose e2 as a series and for the machine type it must be e2 standard 2 okay now just simply scroll down in the worker node again choose the e2 as the series and machine type must be e2 standard 2 and just cross verify that the number of worker node must be 2 okay if all this thing is correct just simply click on create now this thing is going to take around 5 to 6 minutes meanwhile if you want you can just wait otherwise you can just continue with the task number 3 and task number 4 and both the tasks are very easy what you have to do just go back to your dashboard and here search for the api and here just open this api and services in new tab come back over here and just simply click on this create credentials and click on this create credentials and just simply click on api key it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that okay now just copy this thing go back to your notepad and just simply come on the task number three and four now replace over here okay just make sure of one thing okay please pay attention while doing this okay make sure of one thing after equal to there is no extra space okay just make sure that your api key must look like this now what we have to do just go back to your lab instruction from the task number three just copy this bucket name go back to your notepad and paste over here okay now just go back to your task number four copy this bucket name go back to your notepad and paste over here just make sure after equal to there is no extra space now just copy all this command from export till gs auth login okay and i already divide this command using hast okay so just you have to copy all this thing okay again i'm saying copy all this thing okay it must look like this now just go back to your dashboard if you want you can just simply click on this close go back to your dashboard and run the command over here just wait for a couple of seconds it will ask do you want to continue that time we have to just press y here just press capital y and done now click on here it will authorize yourself click on allow now copy this token go back to your dashboard paste over here and hit enter okay so you have done with this okay now just copy from here till the last okay that's the thing you have to do just copy this paste over here now you don't have to do anything just sit and relax once this all the command executed properly you will get a score for the task number three and task number four without any issue okay okay as you can see all the commands are executed now if i just simply click on check my progress for task number four i will get a score now if i just simply click on check my progress for task number three i will get a score now we are done with this if you want you can just close this tab okay now go back to your data proc and just check so here you can see your cluster has been created so now just simply click on this name wait for a couple of seconds then click on this vm instance and here you can see you will get the option for for sss it will take a couple of seconds to enable meanwhile you can do one thing just go back to the task number two copy this thing okay do not copy that closing function bracket copy this wait for a couple of seconds and now click on this sss option wait for to establish a connection and paste over here okay so you have done with this thing now what we have to do we have to just submit a job for that just go back to your data probe then click on this job and 
now click on the submit job and first thing what you have to do just change the reason according to your lab instruction for me it's us west one so i'm just going to change accordingly so i'm going to choose us west one okay now for the cluster i have to choose which i already created now for the job type it must be spark for the main class just copy this paste over here okay now for the jar file it must be this and paste over here now no need to give files and archive files choose the arguments this thing copy this paste at the place of argument and for the max restart per hour it must be one make sure your submit job must look like this if it's so just simply click on submit it will take around one to two minutes to complete this thing if and if you want if you just go back to your data flow job and you can see your job is succeed four minutes took around four minutes five seconds it might take around four minutes 20 seconds 30 seconds so do not worry about that just make sure that your job type must be batch okay so once you're done with this if you just go back over here here you can see we got a score for the first task also so now just come over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now we have to just wait until this thing is gets succeed and after that we will get a score on the task number two without any error and it's finally done as you can see now if i just simply click on check my progress i will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section guys thanks for watching and uh, have a good day